You guys had training wheels as a kid on your bike when you were little. Show of hands. All right. So I'm assuming most of you guys know how to ride a bike. All right. Well, today I'm here to talk to you about biking, including the sport of biking, the um, uh, benefits of biking on your health, and the uh, entertainment side of biking. The first topic I'd like to talk about is the sport of biking. And as you can see here, these are shoes that actually the um, professional bikers wear. And if you can see right here, these little holes right here, they actually clip into the uh, pedal of the bike. Can't really see, but this is actually a mountain bike, it's not a sport bike. This is a sport bike right here. And it clips into these pedals so that the feet, when they're going really fast, like up or down a hill, the feet stay in place. And actually, the, um, the seat is actually a lot lighter than this seat that you see right here because they actually um, don't really care about, care about comfort, they care about weight. And that's really important when the seconds really matter in the race. And as you can see, the handlebars are tilted down. That's for aerodynamics, compared to right here, just like a leisure for your hands. And um, basically, the UCI is like the professional level of biking. And that is basically like the NFL or the NBA of the, the biking world. And um, the three major tours of the UCI for, um, are the Tour of France, the Tour of Italy, and the Tour of Spain. And UCI stands for the Union, um, Union Cyclists Internationals. And, um, And um, the Tour of France actually was established in 1903. And this is one of the most prestigious races of the Grand Tours. <clears throat> this race attracts uh, riders throughout the whole world and is 2,200 miles long. So it's a pretty big race. And the next tour I'd like to talk about is the Tour of Italy, which was established in 1909. And this is also known as the Giro. The, yeah, Giro. And this race is three weeks long and is during May to early June in, around Italy. And this race is about 1,521 miles long. The next tour I'd like to talk about is Spain, the Tour of Spain. This was established in 1935 and is three weeks long and the distance of this race is 2,119 miles long. And um, basically the racers drive the race. Since they're racing so long, they need stuff to eat throughout the race. So balanced nutrition is important to the riders. And this is why I brought you all guys a lot of clip bars for each of you. <laughs> so you just hand these out. Everybody get one. Dylan, you can get two since you're twice as big as everybody. <laughs> and um, well, a well-known uh, cyclist you guys may know is Lance Armstrong. Uh, he is right here. Pass this around. He's actually uh, known for winning the Tour of France seven times. He won it throughout 1999 through 2005. And the biggest, big thing with him was he actually went through testicular cancer in 1996. And this was really huge because the doctor said he had two weeks to live and he's still living to this day. And he was born in Dallas, Texas um, in 1971. And he actually admitted to using steroids. And I found this in the article that states, two doctors entered the room and asked Armstrong questions, including whether he had ever used performance enhancing drugs. Armstrong said a list that included steroids, human growth hormones, cortisone, and EPO. And cortisone is just a cortisone shot that you uh, insert into a part of your body where it hurts. So it doesn't hurt anymore. And EPO is actually something that thins your blood or actually put more oxygen in your blood so you can actually work out longer and not become tired. And that may not make sense to you, but the whole story is back in 1996, when the doctors actually came in and asked him if he ever had taken performance enhancing drugs because he was going to keep them and everything so they didn't know this. And his best friend was right there listening. And that's how his best friend told the media, and that's how it all came out. So his halo was actually a little bit tarnished. Uh, the next topic I'd like to talk about is uh, basically the exercise and how um, you become healthy by biking. Um, gyms across America actually have spin classes that maybe you guys should attend because it's really good. And um, I've actually done mine, I used, to, I used to go all the time for a year, and it really helped me with my endurance. But um, according to a study, they found that women who increase physical activity 
like biking by 30 minutes a day during the 16-year period, maintain their weight, maintain their weight, and even lost a few pounds according to nytimes.com. And um, so ladies, hop on those bikes. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> the best part about this activity is that you find cycling as a delightful experience without realizing that it is doing good to your body. Cycling proves to be one of the most effective exercises to shut off those extra calories and get rid of those flabby abs. <laughs> Another topic I like to talk about is mountain biking, which is the entertaining side of biking. And this is a really fun activity you guys can do with the whole family or your friends or even your girlfriend or boyfriend, your choice. And um, it's actually a really good stretch for you. All right, hopefully you guys learned a lot from me talking today, and uh, thank you for your time.